Class 1. What is a syllable? When we recite Sanskrit verses or mantras, the most important thing to be aware of, apart from the proper sound articulation, of course, is syllables. It is a very basic thing, but it is still good that we go over it as it lays the foundation of Sanskrit chanting. So, what is a syllable? A syllable, or akshara in Sanskrit, is a unit of pronunciation that has one vowel sound with or without surrounding consonants. Each word in any language can be divided into syllables, which are sort of phonetic building blocks of a word. Take, for example, the name Alexandra. What are its syllables? A, li, xan, dr. Four syllables. Now, look carefully. What common feature do all the syllables a, li, xan, dr have? They all have a vowel sound. And the first one is, in fact, only a vowel, a. The rest, li, xan, and dr, are vowels with an accompanying consonant. Some syllables form the whole word. Can you think of an example? I have one. I. It is a word with just one vowel sound. Or we. A vowel sound with a consonant attached. So let's finally turn to Sanskrit. Can you think of a Sanskrit word consisting of a single syllable? Let me show you a few. Om. Ch, kim, tvam. Notice that tvam has two consonants in front and one at the end. So a syllable can have more than one consonant. So here's your really easy formula. The number of vowels in the word equals to the number of its syllables. That's all. Let's see some Sanskrit words that consist of a few syllables. Guru, Parama, Ananda, and Aravindaksha. So here is your small task. Count how many syllables does each word have. You can hit the pause button here and take your time. So here is our syllable count. Guru, two syllables. Parama. Three syllables. Ananda, also three syllables. And finally, Aravindaksha, five syllables. Most probably, you found this small exercise easy. Yes, because it is natural to split words into syllables. We do it whenever we teach a child to write or dictate an unfamiliar word to someone, but we almost never bother to count the syllables. Counting the syllables is a relatively easy, but still an important task for you, which will help you later to identify different kinds of verses or shlokas in Sanskrit. So even though we are in the beginning of our exploration and haven't yet come to the point of learning various Sanskrit verse meters, let us have a glimpse at this skill right now. You will see a verse on your screen. I want you to pause the video and count how many syllables does each line have. Ready? Here we go. So here is the number of syllables. I hope you had the same count. 10, 11, 10 and 11. I'll chant for you this verse. Nadhanang na janang na sundaring kavitang va jagadisha kamaye mama janmani janmani shvare bhavatad bhakti rahai tu kitvayi. The name of this particular meter is Viyogini. And this verse is a heartfelt prayer for pure and unmotivated bhakti or devotion to God. The translation of the verse is attached in the resources to this lecture. And if you like, you can do more of this syllable counting exercise. Just download it 
from the resources. Now it's the time for us to learn and practice the two types of syllables in Sanskrit. We'll get to that right in the next class. Let's summarize what we have learned. Syllable is a pronunciation unit made of a vowel with or without surrounding consonants. Number of vowels equals to the number of syllables. Syllable is called akshara in Sanskrit. Syllables are foundation of Sanskrit chanting.